In this problem, we're asked to write the given fractions in simplest form. And if you look at the information at the top of the page, it indicates that to completely reduce a fraction, remove all common factors other than one from the numerator and denominator. There are many ways to approach these problems. The one that I will show you is just one of those many ways. So for the first problem, let's write 4 over 16. And what we're looking for are common factors between 4 and 16. Well, I can write 4 as 4 times 1, and I can write 16 as 4 times 4. So 4 is a common factor of both 4 and 16. 4 over 4 is a form of 1. I can remove the 4 over 4, and so 4 over 16 in completely reduced form is 1 over 4. Let's do the same approach with 28 over 54. I'm not sure what the largest common factor is, but I know that 2 divides both 28 and 54. So that's going to be 2 times 14 is 28. 2 times 27 is 54. Common factor of 2 can be removed. 14 I can write as 2 times 7. 27 is 9 times 3 which is the same as 3 times 3 times 3. I'm writing the numerator and denominator this way so that you can see there are no common factors. I cannot reduce any further. So 14 over 27 is equivalent to 28 over 54 in simplest form. Let me write that a little bit nicer there. 14 over 27. That is my simplest form for 28 over 54. 360 over 495, that's a really large set of numbers, but I'm going to start with the small ones that I know. I can tell that 5 divides both 360 and 495 because 360 ends in 0, 495 ends in 5. I can use my calculator to help me. 360 divided by 5 is 72, so 5 times 72 is 360. 495 is 5 times 99. There's a common factor of 5. I can remove that. 72 and 99, well 72 is divisible by 9. That's 9 times 8. 99 is also divisible by 9. That's 9 times 11. I can remove the common factor of 9. All I have left is 8 over 11. 8 and 11 have no common factors other than 1. So 8 over 11 is 360 over 495 in simplest form.